you guys see my screen, right? So I've been looking to. Okay, so let me know if you guys can hear this. The what I'm gonna I'm gonna preface this before I show you this. So this is actually a uh, what I like to call creator ads. So you have uh, obviously last time, guys, uh, we, we discussed Canva ads, right? We discussed how to create, uh, you know, videos, right? Uh, you know, different kind of Facebook videos. You could create TikTok, Instagram reels. We, we went over how to like create a quick ad like this. So if you're in real estate, um, you can say condo, type in condo, and then boom, you can use this video here as an example and change the offer to pre-con, or pre, uh, top three cons starting at low 300s, right? As an example, or you can even say 400s. Um, and then instead of tips and tricks, you want to go high ROI only. Um, and then here you can say sign up. Oh, okay. This is an example. Let's press play. So it'll be top pre-con starting at low 400s, high ROI only, sign up below as an example. Um, this is what we were learning before, how to create your own uh, video ads via Canva. Um, now, there's another method where you can actually not only, you don't have to create the ads yourself, but rather you can actually rely on creators so let me show you something. If you go to TikTok Creator Marketplace, okay, you can actually go here um, to TikTok Creator. Hold on one second. Here it is. TikTok Creator Marketplace. So that's this site right here. And you're actually able to search for creators. So you can type in, let's just say mortgage as an example. And you'd be able to find a bunch of mortgage creators. So these are all people that will create you content, whether it's for your ads, whether it's for whatever. But the idea is that these people will charge you a certain amount. Um, so some of them charge 200, some of them charge a lot. So what you could do is sort by price. Uh, let me see. For that. Uh, let me see. Okay, so you can sort by any sort of filter here by age, you can find any creators you want directly from the TikTok creator platform. And once you find them, you want them to create ads for you. So I'll go ahead and play uh, a, diff a few different examples. Um, just make sure you guys are able to hear it. Uh, if you can't hear it for whatever reason, just stop me, but I want to make sure you guys are able to hear it. And then you'll see the different quality, right? Because this is still viable here creating these ads are very viable. You want to still do that, but you want to do it alongside creating ads like these. So it's more like testimonial style. Okay. So take a look at this creator, what he did for us. So I'm self-employed and I was worried that I wouldn't be able to get a mortgage because I don't have a standard proof of income. So I consulted a mortgage professional because of all the ads I was seeing. Just yesterday, I got pre-approved for $1 million on the new mortgage without having to pull any money from my business. That's insane. Okay, raise your hand if you think that was a great ad, regardless of what the industry was for and all that kind of stuff. Do you guys, would you guys convert on that? If, if you saw that and you were potentially a home buyer, you'd probably convert on that. So I like to call it like, think about it like it's a personal story. Think about it like that. Okay. So um, hold on one second. I didn't put my video on here. Okay, great. So you guys see me all right? Fantastic. All right, so that was uh, the first example. There's another example, and you want to create many of these. And these are evergreen ads, meaning these ads don't ever disappear. They don't ever lose value. They don't ever do. They're always going to be evergreen. They're always going to work for you. So now let's look at this next one. We're seeing a lot of refinancing ads. It's a sign. We got a sick refinance deal recently. With lower interest rates plus better terms. Because, because we, we hired, hired a mortgage, mortgage professional. professional. Don't miss out on this opportunity because I swear she helped us save so much. So sign up now. Okay. Now raise your hand if you like that ad. Bang. Okay. Nice. Nice. Now let's look at the third one. 
Well, I'm a first time home buyer and I had no idea where to start in terms of mortgage. Then I consulted a mortgage professional, Samantha Ryan from Invis, and just wow. They found the best mortgage that I could pay off faster and save on interest costs. I got pre approved up to 1 million in just 24 to 48 hours. I swear you guys need this. I'm not even kidding. Sign up today. Okay. Raise your hand if you like that one. Great. Nice. And then let's watch this one as well. This one is about first time home buyers buying your first property. Let's look at this one. So I've been looking to buy my very first property and didn't know where to start. I came across a mortgage broker and guess what? I got pre approved for up to a million in 24 to 48 hours. Even with poor credit, don't worry. You still have options and there's brokers that will work with you. So let's help you find the best solution that best fits your needs. What are you waiting for? Sign up today. Okay. Very simply, right? So I've been looking. Now, um, Surin, I would suggest, and this is because I know how the pre-con ads work. Um, we run a lot of pre-con ads uh, for our clients. Uh, you know, I also you know, have a few friends that are mortgage agents, or sorry, uh, realtors, and you know, we work with them to help them get some pre-con leads. So let me tell you something. So all of the ads you'll see, Surin, are gonna be project-based. So for example, if I type in pre-con construction condo Toronto, if I Google that, you're going to see a bunch of these like properties, right? Like these uh, websites. Uh, so here, my buddy owns one of them. He owns condo Wiz. Let's see if it's still here. No, it's not here. Okay. Anyway, so let me go precondo.ca as an example. These are all the projects in Toronto, like uh, a lot of them, at least maybe not all of them that are all pre-construction, meaning that you can download their media packages. So for example, let's look at this one, Southport Swansea square condos in Toronto. Let me grab this one. It says view full price list and floor plans, right? So you can actually go ahead and inquire um, just like that. Um, fill this out. It's going to ask if you're a realtor or not. Um, up to you to say no or yes. Um, ultimately, if it's a no, they're going to send you their packages and think you're a lead um, looking to buy. They're going to send you, you know, the images of the condo. They're going to send you the pricing of the condo. They're going to send you everything you need to know about the condo. Now, what you could also do is click on the image you see here. So they have some preview images. This one has about six images. You can right click, save image as, okay? Um, and then grab some more images. Like this one's pretty nice. Grab this one, save image as, right click. Um, this one too, right click, save image as. And you can put these images inside your, your actual ad here so that you know we're not necessarily like advertising a building that isn't the real building right so you can you can advertise it project specific if you want um which i think is the it, and that's how everyone's doing it. everyone is doing it this way they grab the pictures of the project they throw it in a canva ad and then they're running ads like that on instagram facebook right and that's how they're getting their uh their leads coming in so this is obviously a much different approach you are relying on third-party creators to build storytelling uh, and then that storytelling wins over people because the people align with it. it it's, it's like, you're going to have a lot of investors. Investors are people that will see ads like these and then inquire based on ads like these. These are just people that want to get straight to the point. They'll sign up on your ad, right? People like this, um, these types of ads, you're really catering to the rest of the market. So people that aren't already real estate investors, um, you're catering to those people and turning them into real estate investors talking about you get a creator to create an ad for you talking about how how ROI positive you know this specific pre-con project is Southport Swansea Square Condos you can create have a creator make an ad for you about that and then run that ad specifically um, and talk about how you know they were working with you you know I you know he can say oh I was working with CERN I was I wanted to buy my first condo didn't know where to start CERN helped me out he got me a really high ROI investment property and you know now it's only a year later since I bought it I've only spent 20k down so far and I'm already broken even on the project so everything else from here is some smooth sailing if you're looking for a high ROI investment opportunity um, and you want to get into the real estate market I highly recommend working with CERN Okay. Now that can be a similar concept. And all you do is, like I said, you just go here and you find these creators now, and you don't even need to do it so that it's project specific where you're talking about like the square condos or whatever you do it so that it's just generic. It's not necessarily tied to a specific project. 
That way you can run this all the time and get leads for any kind of project. Um, and then that way, whatever you have available in terms of your pre-con inventory, you can just immediately use, uh, you know, the leads that come in from these ads. You can use those uh, as a mechanism to close. Okay. Um, so, so yeah, so that would be, that would be ultimately what you guys need to do. Um, so sir, and that's, that's definitely something that's more viable for you. Um, just focus on that. So this is the website creator marketplace. I'm going to paste it here for you. Um, you guys can just go in there, type in mortgage, type in realtor, type in whatever, and you can get all kinds of different creators um, that will work uh, under XYZ price, okay? So, okay, I hope that answers your question and, uh, you know, try it out, right? Like, look at that link, you know, contract only one of them to start, you know, go for a low one. Um, you know, we, we do videos for $100 a video, okay? Some of them are like, see, this guy is charging $50 USD. Um, so, I mean, we, we don't even need them to post about it. Like half these deals, they're basically going to post for you on their page. We don't want them to post about us on their page. We just want the content so that we can take the content and run ads with that content. Okay. So all the prices you're seeing here, you could pretty much get them for one tenth of the price. Like these guys are hundred bucks. This guy's 50 bucks, right? This guy's, this girl's 200 bucks, right? Like there's different prices, some of them don't list their prices. This one's 20 bucks. So keep in mind, these prices here are to, I believe, to actually post your content on their page, kind of like an influencer marketing deal. Whereas this is not an influencer marketing deal. We are looking to create the content and then save the content and then run the content in the form of ads. Okay. Similar to what I've already showed you guys in the past. So it's a little bit different. These prices here, you can get them all lower. Um, so try it out. Um, I believe it will work tremendously well for everyone here. Like if you're a mortgage agent, do it. You'll get these high quality mortgage ads like I showed you. Um, if you are a realtor, you can do it. Honestly, anything. It doesn't matter. You know, Armando, you can do it as well. Run an immigration uh, creator ad like this as well. Um, and effectively, all you have is, you know, people running uh, people, people seeing this ad 24 seven, like this is like what I like to call, like I was saying, an evergreen advertisement that you can run. That's not project specific that can just perpetually drive you leads. Um, and then what you do is every time that creative sours out or dries out in terms of its success rate, you go get another one done. Right. And then you pause that other one for a bit, get a new creator, you know, every 30 days or so spend a hundred bucks on a new creative from these guys. Eventually, if you do that for 12 months straight, you'll have 12 evergreen ads by the end of the year that like just bring you tons of leads. Okay. This is all very feasible guys. Nothing, none of this is rocket science. Uh, do we have any day kind of thing from that advertising? If you want more volume, advertising will always be the case to drive more volume. Um, but Kijiji is just an easy way. You pay 150 bucks a month, you know, it's going to auto bump your, add to the top when people search for pre-construction in Kijiji, you want to rank every seven days, it's going to bump you to the top. So you'll get like five to 10 leads. I've never gotten more than 10 leads a month from Kijiji. So I wouldn't uh, expect it to, you know, start rolling in like tons of leads, but it's an easy way to get started, you know, so that you don't have to worry about it. You're not really, you know, you don't have to put too much work in to create that lead generation system. You just create a simple Kijiji post, um, and then you bump it automatically for 150 bucks a month. It just does it automatically for you and you sh it'll drive you some leads. So make sure you check your Kijiji account because the way those leads come in is they're not going to call you or like go through your sales funnel. They're just going to message you on Kijiji. So on Kijiji, they'll message you directly. So make sure you're logging into Kijiji every now and then you're checking your messages because that's how the leads will come in. And then right when you get that message, what you do is you ask the guy for his number. What's your phone number? Once he gives you his phone number, you call him. That's it. Now you're on the phone. Now you got the lead. Now you're taking it off Kijiji, right? So it's just another mechanism to get clients um, who are searching for you, right? That's what I love about Kijiji. It's a search engine. The clients that are, you know, whereas using ads, it's a little different because they're not searching for you. You're deploying an ad in front of them. And they're seeing your ad and you're trying to convince them to want your offer, right? That's what an ad is. Whereas, you know, search engine marketing, like SEO, you know, for example, Kijiji searches, these are all search-based. So meaning that the lead already knows what he wants. 
you know, or she wants, right? And you just happen to provide it. So ultimately, you know, uh, you know, if the lead already knows what they want, you happen to provide it. Arguably, that's a much better lead than someone who doesn't already know what they want. Um, so, so yeah. So I mean, less leads with Kijiji, but definitely good leads who have the intention um, of moving forward. You just got to be able to message them quickly, get get back to them as soon as you can, and you know, extract their phone number. Once you get the phone number, then great, put it in your CRM, and then start following up and closing them. Uh, very easy way to drive leads is through Kijiji. Now, if you can do, if you can create a, a creator ad like this, and then spend roughly twenty dollars a day on face on Instagram ads or something like that, TikTok Instagram ads. $20 a day. Uh, normally I say $33 a day is usually like the lowest you should do. Um, just because, you know, these days there's so many advertisers on all these platforms. If you're not spending at least 33 bucks a day, you're not really competing with these people. So I would say, you know, if you can spend like 33, like, look, if you spend $20 a day, are you not going to get any leads? Absolutely. You're going to get leads, but is it going to be as much as if you spent $33 a day and gave Facebook more data? Probably not, right? So $33 a day in ads, create uh, creator ads, one to two of them to start. Go on tiktok.com uh, and run ads with those creatives uh, and watch the leads pour in, okay? Now, the reason I love these types of ads is because they this is TikTok style content. This is like native content to TikTok. This is how people create their content on TikTok. So if you're going to run an ad like this on a platform where all the content looks like this, might not work as well, right? So you want to blend in with the organic content. If I'm running ads on Instagram, is this what Instagram content looks like? You want to, you want to do your best to blend it in for certain ad sets you create. And then you want to, you want to also stand out for other ad sets that you create. So it's, there's no hit or miss. There's no real way to do this. It's ultimately doing as much as you can, trying as much as you can, throwing a bunch of balls against the wall and seeing which balls stick. This is an easy win. If you get a creator ad done, it's going to come out solid, you know, ultimately. And, and, you know, if it comes out great, these guys know how to create content. It's going to come out great. You run it and that's it. You know, you, you drive leads. So uh, any questions on this topic?